All right, what up, Who That Nation? Um, tonight we giving you guys episode two of our draft series special. You know, tonight we're going to get on the linebackers. Be sure to check out episode one as we got into you know five receivers that we thought would be sitting there at twenty four, and um tonight. Um, on episode two, we're going to go to the linebackers and we'll give you guys five guys that we think will be sitting at 24. Um, but before we start, you know, I want to shout out to the guys joining me, um, WD, Foyle, and Jake. Um, what's up, fellas? Hey, man, I'm ready to get a linebacker, man. That's what I want. I'm a defensive guy. Let's talk some football. Yeah, ready to go. Be nice to have a hard-hitting linebacker next to Davis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But um, before we get started, man, um, first off, um, you guys know what's going on around the world. Um, all I can say is advice is just to um, listen to what the guys are saying about staying at home. They starting to crack down with all these orders, uh, stay at home orders and stuff. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Um, let's just try to look out for uh, one another. I mean, it's usually mainly hitting the older cats, but um, let's just be generous of one another. You know, we may be feeling good, but the, the next man we may run into may be, you know, a person that can't take, you know, the virus. So let's just try to get this thing stopped so that we can get back to, you know, enjoying life, going out, you know, movies, dinner, and all of that. We can do all of that again. And, you know, and they're not going to open things back up until we start doing that and this thing start dying down. So just quickly, uh, just stay safe and, um, you know, that's, that's all we can do. And um, another thing, just to be sure to like, subscribe, and follow the page. Okay, so how we going to do this, once again, um, we're going to give you guys five linebackers this that we think will be sitting there when it's time for us to pick. We're not giving a top five. We're just going to give you guys five that we think going to be sitting there. Um, one linebacker we want to talk about is Isaiah Simmons because um, he's projected to go in the top five. It's no way we have a shot at him unless we trade up for him. What we're going to do is going to, you know, each of us is going to talk about a, one of the five linebackers and, you know, scout them and see how he can possibly fit with the Saints. Jake, who you have? I got the big dog, Kenneth Murray, out of Oklahoma. Uh, 6'2", 240. He didn't run as fast as Willie Gay, but uh, ran a 4'5'2", and he explosive. He had a 38-inch vertical and a 39-inch broad. And, I mean, his, his athleticism, I mean, you can see it on tape, and he, he, he'll knock you out. He... Sideline to sideline, great. He could play middle linebacker or Sam, whichever we prefer. Him beside Davis, that'd be nice, man. I mean, he's aggressive. He got a great backstory and all that. No suspensions, no nothing. Uh, processes thing well. His man coverage, he could be a little bit better on. Same with zone, but I mean, he's. He can, he can get better in the pros with that. Definitely his range is what stands out to me the most. He's not afraid to fill in the gaps either. If, if running back gets the ball, going, he'll go downhill full throttle and lay him out. If he over pursues, he can chase him down, speed him to the time. Just, it'd be nice to have him, like you said, with McCaffrey and all them in the, in the division. Having him yeah. and Davis as a one-two combo, I mean, That'd be nice. And, I mean, we got to get – just because, like you said, with Anzalone and Alonzo, so injury-prone, man. I mean, they're, they're good players when healthy. It's just they're never really healthy, man. So, yeah. why not add a young speedster and linebacker, man, that can I – know, I know who that – it goes crazy about him because he can hit and stuff. He oh, yeah. hitting linebackers. Yeah, I, one thing, one thing I was kind of laughing, man. I, I was laughing how he sling guys, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes he kind of do, he kind of does aim high, a little high. But, uh, I yeah. mean, that, that that can definitely get corrected, of course. Yeah, he's he kind of uh, he's a bigger version of uh, Chauncey Gardner, kind of you know, real aggressive and 
yeah. kind of a, you know, real emotional on the field and stuff. But I, I like that. My linebackers, man. Every yeah. Every down linebacker, man. Yeah. How, how much do he weigh? What's he? He's 240. Oh. He's 240 or two, something like that. I think he was two. He was 241 at the combine. And he was oh, okay. two. He got 32, almost 33 inch arms. He's, that's what I'm saying. He's a big guy, good size, and he ran a four five two. So I mean, I I, I think if, if he's there at twenty four, I think we jump on it, and I think we take him. That's right. I, I got I got one question. Who um, looking at the teams that come before us, who who do y'all think really need a linebacker? I think the guys going like I said, Simmons. Somebody gonna grab Simmons. Within the top. Yeah, I just hope, I'm I, praying I it's not there. Carolina. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping it's not them. I'm not sure who actually needs one because the Raiders really need one, but they just picked up two. The Giants need a linebacker? Yeah, the Giants could take one. The only thing with them is they really need an offensive line, too, so they may go out and tackle there. I don't know. I was thinking the Raiders, but they just picked up two in free agency, and then the Jags picked up uh, Schobert, gave him like 50 something million. The Ravens do, but they're behind us. I they could be the ones we got to watch out that may jump us to try to get one of them. So if, if you have if, if you have Murray, if you have Murray sitting there at twenty four, Murray, Henry Ruggs, who y'all going? Oh, I'm, with? Going I'm going Ruggs. I'm going Ruggs. Did you already know that? Shoot, I would say best player available. That got to be Ruggs, man. Great fit too. Yeah, and I mean him and him and Michael Thomas. I mean, I love the Emmanuel Sanders pickup. Got him for two more years, but Rugs and Thomas together for the next five, six years with a new quarterback after Breeze and stuff. Uh, you can't beat that. But if we would were to go Rugs, I'd be fine with trading up in the second round and grabbing you know best available linebacker at that time too because we gotta get a linebacker like you said too many injury problems on our team all right all right this is my this is my scouting assessment on uh patrick queen uh, first of all right right off the bat right he um I, this, this was a player that um i was able to see you know uh first time because everybody know that i'm a lsu fan but in saying that, right, let me give his variable. You know, he's 229 pounds. He's 20 years old. He was a one-year starter at LSU. He went to the combine. Um, he ran, I think he ran a 4-5 and a 40 at the combine. One negative thing about that was that he wasn't able to complete the drills because I think he tore a hamstring or he tweaked a hamstring or something, you know, um, while he was at the combine. But, um, one thing I can say about the kid is that the kid recognizes plays. You know, he's a thumper too, even though he only, you know, started one year. Most of the draft and, um, analysts that I read up on, you know, um, in doing scouting work on him, they compare him to a linebacker like Thomas Davis, you know, which is, I don't think that that's a bad comparison because I thought Thomas Davis was a dog, even though he used to play, you know, even though he played his whole career for the Panthers. As a matter of fact, at one point in time, he was the player that I feared the most on their defense. They project him to go somewhere between maybe the first and third round, something like that, depends on the area of need, you know, for whatever team that drafts him. When he was at LSU um, in 13 games, he made 40 tackles five for losses and one sack. But where he played his best at was when, um, is when they got into the championship because he balled out against um, Oklahoma and he played well too against um, Clemson in, that, in the national championship game. He posted 85 stops, 12 tackles for losses and three sacks and interceptions and two pass breakups. That's what he did, you know, during the championship run. I think that he would be a pretty solid prospect, man. You know, somebody that, you know, that, that um, would be a, a good addition to our defense if we was able to draft him. You know, um, and I'm not just saying that because he plays for LSU either. The only thing is, is that 
he would have to a little learning curve, you know, judging from the fact that he only started one year while he was there. I, I just wanted to say, man, when I when I seen him, when I seen him playing, man, I thought he was a safety. <laughs> You see a linebacker. I said, oh man, I, I don't know. I guess I guess it was I don't know the way. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was his size, but I, I thought he was a safety when I first seen him. Yeah, well, they they safety was actually um, Grant Delpit. Yeah. During that championship run, um, Queen was all over the field, and he made a, a, a tremendous amount of plays. You know, so um, I wouldn't mind having him. You know, in the Saints uniform. Um, I will say this: if we do pick up Patrick Quinn, what what linebacker spot you think he should play? Do you think he need to be at the middle linebacker or um, weak side? Center? I think we play him in the middle, man. We, we play him in, in the same position that AJ Klein was in because I think that he have the ability, man, to cover better. Than what AJ Klein did. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking Queen definitely in the middle, and uh, back up uh, Davis at weak side if need be, because he can cover well. And, and like Uptown was talking about, he's an explosive man. And uh, who did I talking about that? He, he's 227, 229, something like that. He's just a little bit smaller for a linebacker, but he makes up for for the speed and that dude's he, he, he's smart. You know, I don't like LSU players. I don't like him, but uh, he's smart. <laughs> he, he reads the plays well, man. And that Clemson game, he definitely stood out. That that made him some money for sure. WD, who you have? All right, man. My guy is Malik Harrison, an old school linebacker that can bring the wood. Would be a great choice to pair with Demario. He can play every linebacker spot, Will, Mike, Sam, you name it. Exceptional in coverage. A good percentage of his tackles are solos, by the way. Plays with good leverage. Very, very exceptional at block shedding. And has great pursuit. His best his best game I've watched was uh, versus Michigan. Now, with veteran leadership surrounding him and Michael Hodges coming in the field in at linebacker coach, they could, uh, they could definitely help him out with a few weaknesses that he has. Uh, he gets caught up in a lot of play action, but uh, he also has the tendency of being undisciplined versus zone reads. Does get caught up hitting the wrong gap at times, but either way, those things can get fixed. My question to y'all would be, would it be a reach? At 24? Yeah, would it be a reach at 24? Yeah, I think it'd be a reach. But he's one of those ones, like I was saying earlier, if we went wide receiver or different position at 24, trading back in in the second or early third or whatever, he's one I wouldn't mind because, like you said, he's pretty good around it on everything. That dude's a thumper, man. What was um his 40 time? Like his, his numbers at the combine? 466. Which he's more of he's more of a Mike linebacker, but he can play them all. But that dude, he can block shit. Like he was saying, he's just all around. He's a solid player, man. Very solid. You know we love Ohio State players, too. You say we add a linebacker in the draft. Well, it kind of depends where they play it. If, if we add, let's just say we add this guy. Um, Where does where do they put him at? Because they're going to have DeMario probably playing, what, the weak side? Yeah, he'll play weak side. He'll be they weak. Had, well, before Anzalone went out, he was the Mike. As of now, Anzalone would be the Mike, Alonzo would be the Sam, and uh, Demario would be the Will, most likely. But Alonzo did tear his ACL in the playoffs, so we don't know how healthy he would be. Harrison or Murray or Gate, they can, they can play both those different positions. They can play Sam or Mike, so that would help. But, but Harrison's a bigger guy, too. He's 247-6'3". So, I mean, a 466 ain't bad. It's just when you compare him to Gay or Simmons or Murray's speed, he's not quite there. But he's still a good player. Um, the guy I have chosen is Willie Gay Jr. from Mississippi State. Now, before I start again, um, 
as you see the way our free agency has ran um receiver was the place i was looking at to go at 24. you know that was my need and, and it still could possibly happen but the way the free agency course has ran aj klein is no longer a saint and we have signed emmanuel sanders um so the linebacker position is kind of looking us dead in the eye we got anzalone yeah we got kiko and um anzalone but both of those guys are injury prone um so i'm going to start out with willie gay jr from mississippi state when i looked at this guy first thing that stood out was the guy's 40 time he had the second fastest 40 time behind isaiah simmons now the way i see us as far as as a linebacker core i've always wanted us to get faster at linebacker and um even though aj klein had a better season last year you know compared to his other two um the thing he lacked was speed and um you know his coverage skills with willie gay jr he's projected to go um you know by different scouts he projected to go between round three and five most of that is due to him getting in some off the field um trouble and stuff um something with an academic who i don't forgot and then he had a you know a few issues inside the locker room but um he got suspended you know missed a good bit of time so i think that kind of hurt his stop you know at the start now when he came to this combine um he showed out well i, I think he you know he you know kind of bounced back at this combine you know so this ability had the seconds um 40 four, four, six. vertical 39.5 broad jump 136 um the shuttle time 20 yard shuttle or four three that's a you know really good time you know that's really showing you know they movement you know skills so if they in coverage you know how quickly they can you know shift and, and explode going side to side so that was pretty good and the cone drill um that's another important drill um you know he had a good time on that drill so if it happens you know um I, I would be okay with us going you know with him at 24. do i think he's the second best um linebacker you know out of all of these linebackers um no but you know his potential is definitely there you know i like him like i said i, I want speed if you look at the nfc south you know especially the way it's getting now we're gonna need you know more than our corners just to be able to cover we're gonna we definitely gonna need our corners to cover but our linebackers we're gonna need them to cover you know the mario is good at it as alone is good at it when he's here and um kiko he done you know pretty good you know last year when he had to do it so um like i said aj klein that was his weak point you know but we could feel that there was somebody that knows how to do it a few other scouts on nfl.com um they gave a few strengths and weaknesses um his strengths um according to them they saying that you know he's a good screen you know he he, he knows how to run down the screen plays good so um if you think about it guys like Crystal mccaffrey um todd Gurley. You know, he's pretty, he's good in the screen as well. But guys like McCaffrey, Gurley, um, we definitely going to need guys in our linebacker court to be able to, um, you know, manage that, you know, not let them get up to the upper tiers, you know, by defense. So, uh, you know, they said he was real good in um, the screen game, you know, stopping the screen game. So that'll definitely be good for us. Um, and then some of the weaknesses, you know, was – you know some tackling you know tackling too high stuff like that i i think that could get corrected you know for us the way he tackled tackle too high um and then they said once you know the lineman he allowed lineman to get up to him and put hands on him but the way his speed is i think he'll be able to you know overcome those things um like i said um he really didn't have no coverage issues. I mean, that's 
you know, that's the thing that stood out to me because we're, we're going to need all three linebackers. I don't know if we're going to use two or three, but really all our linebackers are going to have to at least be able to cover somewhat. So um, that's basically it. I mean, before this, I had this guy really going, I'll say somewhere in the second round, but, you know, according to – you know, the way the draft go, if these linebackers start going, I honestly think that he could, you know, come up into the first round. Because we, we, we need a linebacker, I mean. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, any of y'all got any thoughts? Want to add anything to it? You got most of it, man. That, that, that explosiveness it definitely stands out with him uh, to me. Uh I, I remember him watching him against Alabama. I think he picked off two of one game. And uh, but I never really I never really thought about, about him when I was thinking in the draft. And then when he hit that forty time in the combine, I started watching him. And sideline to sideline, you know that speed shows up. He's real aggressive at times. Not afraid to lay down the woods and all that. <laughs> so yeah, I, w- I definitely wouldn't mind him. It'd be nice to have. And next we are um we get in the Zap Ball. That'll be our last guy. Um we get into um any anybody wanna get some thoughts on him? Me honestly, I really didn't watch this guy like that. Didn't watch him play. But I'm hearing he's had he got first round potential, particularly to us if if he's sitting there at twenty four. He's, he's one of those guys, kind of a edge, but uh, he can be a Sam linebacker too. Out of which time, uh, he's about he's 238 pounds, 6'2. He ran a 4'65. He can cover okay, but not great. The thing that stands out to me the most about him is his IQ. Plays fast. He's got a nice pass rush, counter moves, and everything. His hand technique's pretty nice. He's pretty twitchy too. Got a nice burst to him. Yeah, just real flexible, good, solid tackler. But, yeah, he's one of those ones. If he's there at 24, if, if Queen and Murray are gone, I'd be cool with getting him if, if other players aren't there. He's not going to be a flashy pick or nothing, but he'll be a solid pick for us. Yeah, mo- most of these draft uh, websites and stuff have him as an edge. But you can use him as a Sam linebacker, too, because he's so fluid. Jake, you think he'll be a reach at 24? He's one of those one. I I would rather trade back and get him later on, maybe late first, early second. But you know we don't never trade back really. Only we yeah. trade back since like 2006 or something like that. I wouldn't necessarily call him a reach. He's just one of those picks I wouldn't be excited about. But hell, I wasn't excited about Ramcheck either. And now he's been a beast. Okay, okay. So basically, this is um five guys that we think will be sitting there at 24. Willie Gay Jr., Kenneth Murray, Patrick Queen, Malik Harrison, and Zach Bond. Once again, the way things have been going in free agency, we cannot rule out this position group, you know, due to the fact that we made a few moves. Um, but not a few moves, but we, um, we got us a, a really solid receiver you know but we like i said we can't look out we can't look past a receiver you know if we have a good receiver and a and a good linebacker there at 24 i think they just gonna go with who's the better player we can't leave linebacker open like this man because we like i said we we dealing with two injury prone linebackers and we hadn't really done nothing as of yet in free agency for us linebackers i would Hear some things about Clay Matthews, not particularly us bringing him in for a visit, but um, you know, just questions of could he be a good fit for us, good veteran presence. But um, like I said, we'll see. I just know we we need you know one solid move there, whether it's through free agency or through the draft. Um, and we we gotta make that happen. This position. As now, in my opinion, that's this our number one priority now. Because the wide receiver group is so deep 
in this draft, I think we can afford to go this position round one. And then when we get back in in the third, um, or if we get back in the second, you know, we can get a receiver. Uh, I just agree with what you just said, though. Wide receiver, so so much depth wide receiver. Definitely could get a solid one in the third or fourth. And linebacker, there's, there's you know, the top ones that we named. And then once you get past, I don't know how many good ones will be there at 88. There's, a, you know, there's a few that may slip there, but I don't know. So, yeah, definitely be cool with linebacker. Clay Matthews, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it. I did like him in Green Bay. Uh, he just bugged me. He, he was solid with the Rams, so he broke his jaw or whatever. But he, he was solid with him. Another linebacker, look at him, uh, Nigel Bratton. Uh, he used to play for the Eagles. I wouldn't mind getting him either. But like I said, we got to get at the linebacker position because of them injuries. But, yeah, that's what I think. I'm kind of mad. I'm mad, man, because we can't get Isaiah Simmons, man. I'm just. <laughs> that, that'd be great if we get him. I should, I should have never looked him up, man. But, uh, yeah. I just, I mean, honestly, just the, the way the way the NFC shaft done shook up since the last time we was on here, when we done the receiver group, this is before Brady made the move to come down to our division, this is before Gurley got down there, Robbie Anderson. Um, Man, we just, we got to have some linebackers that can fly around. Like I said, when Anzalone healthy, he can fly around. He he got he got good speed him Rio, um, Alonzo, yes he he got exceptional speed but we gotta we gotta get a speedy linebacker just just in my opinion, you know that's pretty decent at covering, and um, but we got a chance to do it we got a chance to do it at twenty four and let's not forget when we go to our receiver group we add it. Um, Emmanuel Sanders, but also Deontay Harris gonna be getting involved, you know, in the offense as well. You know, that's that's the plan. He gonna start getting more snaps there. So that's really three. Really got three explosive targets. You know, at receiver. You know, like I said, we 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 had time to add another receiver, but um, you know. We will we'll see what happens, but that about wrap things up, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and um, within the next week or two, we will um, let's see, we we'll try to get to it probably next week. Um, just be on the lookout for um, episode three of our draft series special. We're gonna um, what do y'all want to head this time? Head to the cornerbacks. I'd say cornerbacks. I'd say that'd be a good one. Yeah. And then, and let's not forget, we we don't have depth at corner. We I know we signed the North to the extension and stuff, but I'm not even going to name who's behind those two guys. <laughs> we got I nice mean, starters, though. We got nice starters. Yeah, we got nice starters. And there's no disrespect, but we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> we're just going to hit this group. You know, but um, that's basically it. We're gonna come with y'all with the cornerbacks within a week or two, so just be on the lookout for that. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow the page at WDN Chat Line Podcast, Facebook page WDN Chat Line, Twitter page the same thing, YouTube page the same. Go like, subscribe, follow the page. I'm gonna give you guys something to enjoy doing this um epidemic we're going through right now so you know just be on the lookout for some exclusive content and we out who that for life <laughs>